Ukraine has already carried out its first combat missions with F-16s following the long-awaited arrival of the American-made fighters, the Telegraph reports. According to the publication, modern military aircraft have so far been used only for air defense. A representative of the Ukrainian Air Force did not deny this. Ukraine is expected to receive 79 F-16 fighters from Belgium, Denmark, Norway and the Netherlands. Alexei Nispapa, commander of the Ukrainian Navy, said the planes would help challenge Russia's total dominance in the skies over the Black Sea. But Western aviation experts warn that the warplanes will not be something that will ensure victory for the Ukrainians. Earlier media reports said that only six Ukrainian pilots had qualified to fly the F-16, meaning they would only be able to fly a limited number of sorties per day. There are also suggestions that the planes would be limited to an air defense role due to the threat posed by Russian anti-aircraft missile systems located closer to the front lines. Recall on July the 31st, Bloomberg reported that the first F-16 fighters had already arrived in Ukraine. This was also confirmed by the AP. It is not known exactly how many aircraft were delivered in the first tranche or by which countries. White House National Security Council spokesman John Kirby refused to confirm that the United States had transferred its F-16 fighters to Ukraine. At the same time, it was noted that the United States has no doubt that Kiev will be able to begin using the F-16 fighters received from the West by the end of the summer. Lithuanian Foreign Minister Gabrielos Landsbergis said that Ukraine has already received the first batch of F-16 fighter jets as part of Western defense aid. The minister noted that such support in the form of delivering these long-awaited aircraft to the Ukrainian side seemed impossible before. F-16s in Ukraine Another impossible turned out to be totally possible, Landsberg is stated in his post. Meanwhile, a US official told Reuters on the condition of anonymity that the delivery of the fighter jets has been completed. However, it remains unclear how many jets have been provided to Ukraine in the first batch and from which countries. The United States will equip F-16 fighters supplied to Ukraine with modern weapons, including air-to-air -air missiles, the Wall Street Journal reports citing a senior U.S. official. It is noted that Denmark and the Netherlands are preparing to send the first American-made F-16s to Ukraine this summer, with aircraft from Belgium and Norway to arrive later. But the source of the aircraft's critical weapons remains unclear. While the Pentagon has limited stockpiles and production capabilities, it will supply F-16s with air-to-air -air ground munitions, precision bomb guidance kits, and advanced air-to-air -air missiles in sufficient quantities to meet Ukraine's most pressing needs, the publication writes, citing information from a source. As Major General Rolf Folland, commander of the Royal Norwegian Air Force, stated, the aircraft itself is useless without weapons. The weapons the US is sending to the F-16s include the AGM-88 Harm air-to-air -air ground missile, extended range versions of the Joint Direct Attack Munition Kits, which turn unguided bombs into smart weapons and so-called small diameter bombs. The US will also send the jets to the advanced medium-range air-to-air -air missile known as AMRAM and the AIM-9X short-range air-to-air -air missile. In Europe, many countries were reluctant to send large quantities of their limited stockpiles of air-launched munitions to Kyiv, the US official said. So Western allies came up with a solution the Pentagon called a jump start. European countries could pool their funds to buy the US-made weapons to send to Ukraine. Recall that the New York Times previously wrote that Ukraine is one step away from deploying the first American F-16 fighters, but still faces serious problems that may get even worse. We are talking about Russia's increasing attacks on Ukrainian airfields, as well as a shortage of trained pilots and maintenance and support personnel. Aviation expert of Ukraine, Bodan Dolintsy, notes that the number of F-16 aircraft in Ukraine affects the cost of maintenance. He said that it is necessary to understand that if we talk about flight time, then an hour of flight for each aircraft is quite an expensive pleasure. The cost, for example, of using the F-16 is one of the lowest in the world, provided, of course, that there are a large number of these aircraft. 
That is, there is data that the cost of an hour of flight is up to $5,500 for the F-16. But this, of course, is for those countries that have a fleet of hundreds of aircraft, Dolins noted. He added that if, at the initial stages, Ukraine will have a small fleet of dozens of aircraft, then this cost will thus increase three to four or more times per hour of flight. At the same time, on the other hand, in addition to the flight itself, it is also necessary to understand that the cost of ammunition is quite high.